Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use tuples or tuples in Scala. Now in Scala, tuples is a class that can contain different kind of elements. Now unlike list or array, which were able to contain elements of same data type, tuples can contain elements of different data type. That means uh, heterogeneous data types. So let's see how we can define a tuple and then we will see how to use a tuple. So I'm going to just uh, just give a name to my tuple. So val or var and then let's say my tuple and then you just give some values to your tuple. So uh, let's say I want to just have uh, some number inside my tuple. So I will just write one and let's say two and also I want to have some uh, string in my tuple so I can just write hello and I also want to have a boolean value so I can write true here okay so this tuple contains four element and these element need not be uh, of same type so they can be of same type they can be of different data type even they can contain objects also. Now in Scala, tuple or tuples are of fixed size. That means they are immutable in Scala. You cannot change uh, the value of tuple once it's declared, okay? So let's uh, use this tuple and let's uh, print the content of the tuple using the print line method. So I'm going to run the code and it prints uh, the values of tuple as expected. Now, in order to declare uh, this same tuple, let's say I want to have uh, three element in my tuple and let's say I want to declare it in a different way with new and the keyword tuple, you will see that, uh, let me give uh, tuple let's say 2 and you will see tuple here is not a keyword okay so if you want to declare a tuple in this way you need to write uh, after the tuple the number of element the tuple contains so let's uh, say this tuple contains one two three elements then after tuple you just write three here and that's a uh, valid declaration okay so this you need to keep in mind so whatever the number of elements uh, are there in the tuple you need to write that after this tuple keyword so tuple 3 that means tuple 3 contains three elements in the same way when a tuple contains two elements so let's say the tuple contains two element and I'm going to name my tuple as tuple three. Then you can see this tuple three is going to give you the error. So this notation is no more valid because tuple uh, contains two element and we are declaring it with tuple three. So to fix this, we can just write tuple two here and this problem will be fixed. So you need to add the number of elements that tuple contain after this tuple keyword. Now this is allowed up to 22. Okay, so a tuple can contain 1 to 22 elements. After or beyond 22 elements, you cannot store more elements inside a tuple. So you need to uh, just find a different kind of collection to store those elements okay so up to 22 tuple 22 is possible now how you can access the values of the tuple for example i want to fetch uh, this value one or i want to fetch hello from this tuple how can i fetch that so when you declare a tuple the values of the tuple can be uh, accessed by uh, some methods right so when you declare a tuple uh, it will just create these method automatically so you can see 
underscore 1, underscore 2, underscore 3, underscore 4 is created for the tuple of four elements, right? So these are created after you declare the tuple. So uh, for example, I want to fetch the hello from my, my tuple variable. So I can just write uh, my tuple dot underscore three because it's at the third position, right? In a same way, let's run the code and let's see the result first of all. So you can see it gives me hello. In a same way, you can uh, just fetch the other values also. So I can just write uh, one underscore one and then underscore two underscore three and underscore four. Okay, and it will give me all the four values of my tuple variable. So a tuple of four element will have underscore one, two, three, four. But the tuple of three element will only have uh, up to three method, which is underscore one, underscore two, and underscore three. So let's see that also. So let's say my tuple two here, and let's uh, define underscore four. And you can see it's an error because uh, underscore four is not a member of this tuple because this tuple doesn't contain uh, four element. And when I write underscore three here, it's perfectly fine because this tuple contains three element and third element here is hello. Now let's say I want to iterate over the values of this tuple. So how can I do this? So to do that, you need to just use your tuple variable name and then there is a method called product iterator so just write uh, product iterator you can see this method and then this product iterator will give you the access to for each so you can just write for each and inside this for each you can uh, just call uh, your print line method let's say so you can just give these curly brackets and inside the curly brackets you can just define uh, let's say i and then equals arrow and then you can just write print ln and then you can just print the value of i so using for each uh, this uh, will iterate over my tuple uh, variable and i in i you will get one by one these values inside the tuple so i'm going to run the code and let's see what happens so i'm going to just run this code and you can see it has printed these four values which are one two hello and true so if you want to iterate over the a tuple you need to use product iterator method now there is one more way of creating a tuple and that is by using a arrow symbol so in the last video when i have showed you uh, the maps the maps can contain key value pairs and these key value pair one pair is our tuple so when you define the key value pair you can uh, just write let's say uh, an integer and then this arrow and then let's say we want to have a string so string of some name so in map this would be a key value pair right and when you write something like this it's going to create a tuple so i'm going to just uh, run the code and show you so you can see a tuple is created using this notation but keep in mind that this notation is only valid for two elements so when you uh, just write let's say something like this so i'm going to just write true here this will not give you an error but let's see what happens so when i run the code you can see it creates first of all the tuple of first two element and then it joins and creates the tuple of this tuple and the last element which is true this is a tuple and then uh, it joins a tuple and this true so this is another tuple so keep in mind that this arrow just join 
the two elements so in this case this arrow is joining this tuple and then this true now let's say i will create a tuple uh, which have a tuple inside it so i'm going to just create this tuple which is uh, my tuple 3 and it has one hello and i'm going to just add some more values here inside our tuple so inside these parentheses i'm going to just write 2 comma 3 okay so what this is going to do is now it has three elements so i'm going to just write tuple 3 here and then it will be valid so it has three element one hello and a tuple of two and three okay so to access this what i can do is i can just write let me just uh, copy this code and uh, paste it here and i'm going to just write my tuple three and i want to get the third element which is underscore three so it's going to give me this tuple right so i'm going to run the code and you can see it gives me this tuple and let's say i want to access the uh, second value of that tuple this tuple right so i want to get three out of this tuple so how i can uh, fetch this i can just write dot and then underscore two okay and then this is going to give me three right so you can join it like this also this notation so in this way you can use tuples in scala i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now